Hello and welcome to London Business School's MBA TV. I'm Tamsin Shilato. With applications now being taken for next year's MBA programme, the class of 2011, we thought we'd take a closer look at the application process and we'll be speaking to staff and students later on in the programme. Applying to business school requires a certain amount of preparation, so we recommend you start working on your application as soon as you can. Today we have the opportunity to speak to David Simpson, a colleague of mine from the Admissions Committee and Associate Director of the MBA programme, about his advice on the application process. For candidates looking at applying to business school, what's the first thing they should be doing? Attending business school is a big decision and it shouldn't be an easy decision. You should expect to spend a lot of time searching through uh, why you want to do an MBA and is this the right time for you. As well as that, you've got so many choices of what kind of school to attend. You've got to look at the location of the school. Do you want a city school? Do you want a campus environment? How closely connected to big recruiters do you want to be? You've got to think about student community. What kind of people do you want to learn with? These kind of decisions are the big ones to take before you even start putting pen to paper and thinking about submitting an application. And what is the most important thing you're looking for for an admissions application? And do you give different weighting to different aspects of the application? It's important that um, you tell us about your past experiences. It's important that you put across some of yourself to the application as well, as much as possible. There's no particular weighting system. Uh, you have to have done well in your, your undergraduate and any postgraduate um, studies. Your work experience and your track record needs to be successful, whether it's over three years, over 15 years, we want to have seen progression. But really we're looking to see um, how much you will add to the campus environment. With increase in volume that we've seen in applications, should candidates be differentiating themselves? And if so, how can they do that? We do receive a lot of applications, so yep, to be successful you do have to stand out from the crowd. The most important thing to do is honestly portray yourself as a candidate. We want to hear about you, we want you to tell us some stories through the essays of why you want to take an MBA and why you're considering London Business School. Talking about adding value and contributing, in what ways can students add value both in the classroom and outside? What we really want to see is evidence that people will get involved, get involved on campus, lead a club, whether it's a professional club like the private equity club, organise a conference like the Women in Business Conference, or go on tour with a sports club, you know, and, and some of these social club uh, trips abroad are, are extremely important. And life as a student is not just about passing the exams, getting the job, it's so much more than that within the 15 to 21 months. One of the most common questions we get is around references. What advice can you give to somebody about selecting their referees and also what are the admissions committee actually looking for when they read references? We're looking for two references for each candidate. We prefer professional references. We'd very much like to see a reference from your line manager if possible. If not, you could also look at peers or even suppliers and customers. Um, they tell us a lot because they give us an external viewpoint. You should only really select people who know you well. They need to know you well enough to be able to answer those questions in detail. So choosing the CEO of your organisation isn't really going to add value unless they know you very well. In the essay questions, there's a strong focus about post-MBA roles. Do candidates really need to know what they want to do after they graduate? It's important that candidates have a realistic understanding of how their previous experience prior to the MBA along with the, the skills and projects and experiences that you gain throughout your time on the programme, where that will take you. you know, you're the raw material through the process and all the opportunities you get at the school through career services, through the clubs and through the education you receive can get you to a certain point. London Business School is very international. Do candidates need to have international experience when applying? It's important that our candidates have a global perspective or they're interested in building their global perspective. Not every candidate comes in with international work experience. What's important is a very open mind and the desire to learn from others who have nothing in common with your background. Um, we expect all of our students to, to really be focusing on London Business School because we're one of very few schools that can offer that diversity in the study group and in the classroom. So that's the official line from the admissions team. You can view the full extended interview with David on MBA TV Uncut. We're now going to take the opportunity to speak to some of our current students about their views and advice on the admissions process. The most challenging part about the application process uh, was really having a think about what my personal story was and where I'm going to be going in the future. Uh, you know, it's, it's very easy to uh, just shoot off a rote learnt answer that uh, people expect you to say 
but uh, you need to drill down and really think about what you want to do and what you want to achieve and how you're going to achieve that. Well, I, like a lot of other people that apply here and to many other um, really top-notch business schools, are rather involved with their jobs. And so really the difficult part was actually balancing um, working full-time and really being able to do my job to the best of my abilities and still really doing my applications to the best of my abilities as well and making sure that those essays were just right before I turned them in. My one top tip for someone preparing their application would be Think about what it is that you want to do, put it down on paper, read it again, see if that really is what you'd want to do, read it again and just continue to edit until you get it right. You really have to research the school and see where you're going to be the best fit because each school does have its own particular culture and if you're spending two years intensely with a, a, a you know, significantly large group of people you need to know that you're going to fit in. I wish somebody had told me to apply a little bit earlier, I applied quite late and it's, there's a lot of things you have to pull together and it was quite a rush and quite difficult to fit that in alongside my job. Thank you for watching and do remember that as well as MBA TV, there are plenty of opportunities to find out more about London Business School and our MBA programme, including the blog, our new interactive brochure and numerous events taking place around the globe. See you next time.